Welcome to FIMS class. <clears throat> Here is the basic class for script supervision. You like to know about script supervision or you like to become a script supervisor. Yeah. Firstly, get to know that script supervisor also go by other names. They can also be called descripti. Yes, if they call descripti, they are still saying the same thing. They can also be called the continuity manager. So if they call script supervisor, scripty, continuity manager, they are still saying the same thing. So who are the script supervisor? What do we call the script supervisor? Script supervisor is an onset member of a film crew whose responsibility is to ensure the continuity throughout this principle of photography. Yes, an onset member of a film crew whose responsibility is to ensure the con to ensure the continuity throughout the principle of photography. Yeah, from that definition, there is a strong keyword there that needs to be noticed. That is the word continuity. You know, when I when I was talking about the other names for scripts for facial, I also mentioned the continuity manager. So that the word continuity is very important and it must be noted very well. There is no way you can talk about the concept of script supervisor without mentioning continuity. You need to understand what do we call continuity. So what do we call continuity? Continuity is the principle of ensuring that the details of a film is consistent. Is consistent from shot to shot and scene to scene. Yes. Have you ever watched a film where they are showing the, the, the white shots? And when you want to show the close unit or a medium shot, maybe someone put up a cap in the white shot and they wanted to show the close unit or medium shot and suddenly you don't see the cap on his head again. And they go back to, to the white, you still see the cap on his head. That is the lapses of continuity. That is the lapses of continuity. The responsibility of continuity on set it is it is bunches yes you know director are using their brain technical skill and everything but talking about this ensuring calm you must at least all your attention must be on set as a script supervisor because you have to monitor many things you are working hand in hand with many crews on set if you have to give the continuity some nickname you can give them the production secret eyes you can call them a production secret eyes. Also, if the editors is not on the set where they are shooting at the moment, you can call them the editor's eyes. Because they need to work ahead the prosperity of the post-production while they are on set. Their work is to, is to perfect the synchronization. Synchronization of audio, action, dialogue, costume, and everything. For everything to be smooth together. Continuity has to be worked hand in hand with some other crew members. Yes, they need to be working hand in hand with the director. Yes, ensuring that the lines, the action that the, con the director wants on set, everything is well performed. Everything is well delivered. They need to monitor the dialogue. It's everything that your actors say on set why they are shooting the master shots? Is it repeated why they are taking the medium, why they are taking the close unit, or some other technical shots? So the continuity needs to ensure that the, all the dialogue are well repeated when they are taking the other shots. There is something that, those are, that, that many con continuity made mistake with. When you shoot the wide shots, your actors, your actors, at least, they deliver some dialogue. When you wanted to show the close unit, everything that's said during the wide shot must be delivered again where they are taking the close unit. Though it can still be had, you can still add some extra lines, but ensure that your actors doesn't miss any lines that has been delivered during the wide shots. So, when we say that the continuity manager, the script supervisor are working hand in hand with some other crews member, who are who, like what crews and crews do you think they are working with? So number one, I said they must be working hand in hand with the director. Yes, everything. Firstly, they must understand the mind of the writer. 
because even if the director doesn't understand the mind of the 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 mind of the writer there is no way that they won't have problem with the concept of their story because every writer before they can put up a story because before they can write up a story there is some things inside them that they will be full of imagination what if this happened like this? What if this happened like this? So for a director to direct such a movie, he must try to understand the mind of the director. So likewise, for the script supervisor, whatever your director is seeing or having in mind, you must try to understand so that even if your actors want to miss out, if they want to miss some lines or dialogue on set, you must ensure that those key words are not missed. You know, there are some scripts that there will be dialogue. They will dialogue them there. Every line that needed to be delivered by, delivered by the actor, they will write everything in the story. And there are some story, they will just summarize it. They will not break down the lines, they will not dialogue the story. So here, definitely, behind every summarization of the scene, there are some things in the mind of the writer, which must also be in the mind of the director. So likewise, it must also be understood by the script supervisor. So if at all that your actor wanted to miss out some key word that owed that scene, she must able, you must be able, you must ensure you prompted them to say it. So now, script supervisors are working hand in hand with the director. That is number one, to ensure they made the perfect insight, of, uh, insight or the mind of the writer. Number two, they must be working hand in hand with the costume manager. Yes, like maybe we have shot a scene, maybe at the scene 21. Your actors was walking on the street. But walking on the street, he is heading home, he is going to home. And after they shot the scene whereby he is walking on the street, going back to home, you have to go to another place to go and shoot something before you come back home to go and shoot the scene whereby your actor that is walking on the street the other time arrive at home. You know, going to shoot another scene, your actors have to put off all those clothes and wear another one. Now, the clothes he wore while he was walking down the street, that must be a continuity costume that needed to be used when he reached home. So, if you fail to work hand in hand with your costume manager, if you are unable to tell your costume manager that this complete dress is to be used at the other scene when we reach home, definitely you will fail on some of your responsibility as a continuity manager. So, continuity manager, you must be working hand in hand with the costume manager. Aside from costume manager, likewise with the props manager. Because while your actor is walking down on the street, he held a bag. He held a briefcase, which was provided by the, continu uh, by the props manager. So as a continuity manager, after the, after the shooting of that scene, you must ensure you tell your props manager that this costume, this props that was used on this set, it is to be used when we reach home again. And you yourself, you have to take even you have to take the photograph of everything, including the complete body of your actors, everything you wear, everything he holds, he or she holds on that set, so as to ensure that when you want to shoot the next in the following scene, when you reach home back, everything that your actor used on that set must completed again. So you have to be working hands in hands with the costume manager, so as to ensure the continuity of the costume so as to ensure the continuity of the costume. So you yourself, after the actor put off that costume, even you can just staple it together and pack it together and tell your cost, uh, costume manager that this complete costume is to be used at this number, number, number of scene. Likewise, the props, tell your props manager, this is needed to be used at this, this, this scene. Now, when they wanted to shoot that scene, the costume manager may not remember again because it may not be with you on the set. The props manager may not remember again, but you as the continuity manager, you have to remember and tell them, tell them to provide it again. So that is why you need to be working hand in hand with your costume manager, with your props manager. Likewise, as a continuity manager, as the script supervisor, also you need to be working hand in hand. Costume, props. 
location manager to know. So, aside from the costume manager, aside from the props manager, you still need to be working hand in hand with the set man. Yes, with the set man. Because there are some places that you make some settings, certain settings. And at the next thing, all these sets still needed again. Maybe you want to say, uh, yesterday something happened in a parlor and you take a shot like this and like this. And maybe you want to shoot something, you rearrange everything and you need to bring up that set again definitely you have to take the photograph of that set and show it to your set man that this is what was set at the previous set that needs to precede this one and everything needs to be the same so as a script supervisor you need to be working hand in hand with some other crew members so script supervisor is not to be working on himself alone no you are working on others so further 